even in present-day Madagascar? Terrible, hideous creatures still forage for prey. Check it out. What a fantastic creature. I feel like I'm looking at a Muppet, some sort of puppet created by a human being, but in fact, this is a live, breathing chameleon, and it is the smallest species of chameleon in the world. This is Brachesia minima. I wish I was a scientist that had discovered this little lizard. I would have named him Brookesia Minima. I would have named him Brookesia Tiny Timina. In the movies, there's a long-standing tradition of dinosaurs chasing people. Of course, the dinosaurs were long gone before humans came along, but I can dream, can't I? Ah! Ah! Mother of God! Mother of God, why do we move next to this power plant? No! You can't hear me, I'm a herpetologist! No! Oh. Stop, just settle down. My gosh. Someone had a little too much sugar this morning. Oh! Mm. Don't bite me. Well, I think this guy's had enough of us. To be honest with you, I've had enough of him. Do not bite. Do not move. In a time like this, it's very important that we pretend to be Henry Kissinger. I find that if I am Henry Kissinger, I am able to, to diffuse conflict between the lemurs. It's important, yeah. They just look like they're in love. And who am I to say what is right or what is wrong? I'm not. I don't judge. I don't judge. Hey, hey. <laughs> How'd you like that little charge? Okay. Where'd you go? <laughs> At this point, we are in danger. You have to hold your ground. If they sense any fear, they're gonna use that to their advantage, okay? We just hold our ground. What you do privately in your underpants is your business. Just don't run away. You watch this one right here. Get for it, get for it. Like I said, hold your ground, but be ready to run if you have to. Did you like that? If you do, don't run. <laughs> that was great. Bugs flying around. I mean, it feels like my skin is crawling with them. I can see them everywhere. There's bugs. Hey. I kid. Because I love. I love bats. Isn't this cool? I love bats. But look at the size of this frog. Look at this. He's like, remember when I said I'd kill you last? I lied. So here are a bunch of guys in robes and sandals running around playing with tigers. It was incredible. Excuse me, I've got a question. This isn't like Gladiator, is it? It's some kind of having the feel and, you know. Hi. Hey, you guys. Hey, wait a minute. Hi. Hey, sh hey. Should I have a stick? Yeah. I should? Sure. Thanks. I'm getting a little nervous there. Boy, uh, he's got a lot of guts to yeah. grab a tiger by the tail. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, at, look at that guy over there. Do you have a high turnover rate here? Yeah. Do you have a high turnover rate? Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine so. It's like... <laughs> The best in me. 
Oh, man, these allergies. So, I was saying, what? <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm... No! You can't hear me, I'm a herpetologist, no! What, what is it that you need? You're needy. <laughs> I, I, the cat just stung my eye, I, I, I smell the wrong flower. I've earned some scars from this encounter. You keep your distance. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kinda nice. It's not that nice. I'm a married man, please. I am very happy to have had a chance to see this animal. Ouch! Up close. A jumping choy had just attacked me. And I mean it really got me good. I'm not just like doing a cactus demo here. That thing is all the ways in and I can feel it. It's really messing with me, man, and I'm afraid to take it out. <laughs> what kind of con are you? Oh. He is right above my head. And he is not only right above my head, he has just peed on my head. It doesn't get any better than that. This, oh! Stronger than I thought. I was gonna say this is a, a useless claw, but there's some strength there. Ow! It not only looks just like a viper, but it even behaves like one too. When it feels threatened, when it feels threatened, he'll coil up. Ow! And they specialize in the conservation of raptors. Boy, this guy's got a lot of nerve. Oh. Stop it! It's some sort of bone. And okay, that didn't work. Okay, so how about we just leave? Look at the way they hop like that. Look at that bang. It's wonderful to see this pristine habitat. You got the rumble of that waterfall behind us. But even though I'm... Boy, that just brings it home, huh? From the looks of it, it appears that she's wrapping things up here. <laughs> mm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I think she's done, and I'm done too. Cooey, just thinking about that moment, man. I was eating sand for months. In fact, I still think I have a few sand granules tucked in places I would rather not discuss. But it was all worth it to see her excavate that nest, lay those eggs. I don't think I could have ended our Borneo adventure any better. Unfortunately, this adventure, this Jeff Crow and Extreme Encounters, has come to an end. I hope you had a great time. I'm going to end in a good note by showing you my most favorite snake. I've had this guy since I was a kid. It's beautiful. It's a western hognose snake. But time's over. We're going to take a nap. We need to rest. Beautiful summer sun. So I look forward to seeing you on our next Jeff Cohen experience. Meanwhile, I'm going to bed. All right, buddy. No fidgeting.